Hello there again, it's Victor with the Junkyard. Today I'd like to talk about The Cell with Jennifer Lopez. Now I should warn you, I'm going to give a bunch of spoilers for the plot of the film, as well as show you a couple of disturbing images from it. Um, so be prepared. The movie starts out with Jennifer Lopez in a silly dress, riding through the desert on a horse with no name. Sorry. Soon she encounters some kid. A little sullen, but he's a cute enough little fellow. Ah! Mother Puss Bucket! Oh, phew. It was all just a dream. Kinda. Turns out Lopez's character is a doctor who uses some fancy made-up technology to go into people's minds and help solve their problems from the inside or something. The kid was in a coma, and apparently in this movie, comas are caused by your inner demons. Anyway, turns out she sucks at being a cerebronaut, so she wants to try it the other way around. Instead of going into the kid's head, where he controls the environment, pull him into her head, where she can call the shots. It's too dangerous, her superiors say. Meanwhile, the guy who played Egger in Men in Black is a psycho serial killer putting a new victim into his 40 hours and then you die torture box, with wedding crasher Vince Vaughn hot on his trail. Having found the bad guy, the FBI goes to take Egger down, but are disappointed to find him passed out in a coma already. Well, knowing he still has one more victim in the box and no more clues to go on, Vince takes Egger to Lopez and they ask her to get inside his head and find out where the last victim is before time runs out. After some chatter about morality and crap, she agrees and in she goes. Once inside, she chases Egger's inner child around a creepy dreamscape full of uh, references to surrealist art until she meets Egger's inner demon or something, and he traps her in his head. Vince, watching from outside, wants to go in and save her, but since he has no experience with the machine or the science involved, they wisely decide to find someone more quali- Oh, never mind. <laughs> they send him in, because he's a big white man and thus perfectly qualified. And after some torture porn, he does save her and get some clues for finding Egger's last victim, who's feeling a little stressed at this point. While Vince goes to save the girl in the box, Lopez decides to go ahead and reverse the machine, dragging Egger into her head. There she and Inner Child have a heart-to-heart -heart until Inner Demon interrupts them. She then goes Frank Miller on the guy until he's a bloody shish kebab. Unfortunately, she realizes she can't kill the demon without killing the part of him that's still good. Faced with this moral dilemma, she decides to drown his inner child, killing Egger completely. So, she kills him. This doctor kills a man, her patient essentially, to spare his inner child pain. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where to start in this. <laughs> she used all of this high-tech technology, all these years of medical training and education. She risked her sanity to do what I could have done with a hammer. You know? That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so the girl is saved, Egger is dead, and Lopez? She's using her new approach to therapy on that kid from the beginning. Kid! Run! She's right there! You gotta run! Get away while you still can! No, don't go to her! Run! Hide behind her Hippocratic Oath! She'll never look there! So yeah, that's the thing I never got about the film. Why would they let her use this reversal method again? if the only patient she ever treated with it, before, died, or rather, was killed, by her. <laughs> it boggles the mind. Well, this has been uh, Victor with the Junkyard. Hope to see you again soon.